Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Haul. So I had been receiving this question quite a lot and I wanted to go ahead and just make a quick video about it. So the question that I've been getting about FMTs um, quite frequently actually is how many did I do and how far did I spread them apart? Now, I've done a lot of research and from what I've learned, a lot of people that do FMTs and that are successful with FMTs have done about 10 or more. Now the spacing of FMTs can be pretty much dependent on your needs, what you feel like. So from what I've learned through other people's experiences as well as my own, the closer together that you do the FMTs, the quicker the results will start to kick in. Now. I personally based mine off of how my donor was feeling. So it is really, really important that your donor's stomach is feeling good, they've eaten well. Like I put my donor on special diets the days before that I would um, do an FMT just to make sure what's going in his body is fine going in mine and because I want certain things in my body and certain healthy bacteria. So you definitely want to be looking at foods that have lactobacillus and B. phytobacterium as those are really healthy bacteria um, that the gut really needs to thrive. So definitely eat foods with that and a lot of that is um, fermentable foods. So yogurt, kimchi, uh, kombucha, sauerkraut, a lot of different things out there. So look it up to see what vegetables and fruits have lactobacillus and uh, B. phytobacterium. But again, just do what feels best in your body. So I would have to say that there were some weeks where I did two FMTs that week and then some weeks where I did one. And then if my partner wasn't feeling like 100% with their stomach, I some weeks did none. Um, now it's not a glorious process and it's not a process that you crave. So... It is exciting to get the next day's results because it does happen pretty quickly overall. And it did really help my hives. Now that wasn't the end all be all for my hives, unfortunately. Now another good point to bring up aside from how many to do and the spacing between the FMTs is that you need to do touch-ups. And those touch-ups are dependent on what you're trying to treat. So if you're trying to treat bipolar disorder or mania or any kind of psychological issues, you might have to do a touch up more frequently than someone that has chronic hives. So if someone that has chronic hives or other like illnesses like eczema and stuff or obesity, you, know, you might not have to do it as often. Now, I cannot say for 100% because, you know, the, lim the research out there is limited and I think I've read just about anything that I could potentially read or watch or listen to on FMTs. I've definitely done a good bit of research, but yeah, I would definitely say aim for 10. Remember that you gotta do touch-ups and remember that the closer you do them together, the quicker the effects will start to kick in and the farther apart you do them, then it takes a little bit longer for those effects to kick in. But overall, I would, you know, of course, I'm not going to stop saying this. Make sure to screen your donor and I will list some tests that you can do below with some discount codes. Um, absolutely worth it. I know they are a little bit expensive, but at the end of the day, your medical bill, if something does go awry, will be way more expensive. So you might as well just get them tested, make sure they don't have anything bad going on um, or have super overgrowth in certain bacteria as well. You want their gut health to be a pretty good range. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Make sure to click the like, the subscribe, and comment below if there's other questions you guys have for me. I will keep putting these videos out there as much as you guys want them. It is a, definitely, poop is like a miracle drug, um, and I think it really will be the way of the future. So, you know, stay tuned, ask away, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.